Today's episode, building the Ikea Gona crib. First, locate your boxes, especially if you're in a room with a lot of other boxes. Three boxes. Then read the caution label and start setting up. All the hardware is found in this one box and the directions are in the mattress base inside this envelope. Always return it here. To start, I think it's best to organize your hardware and make sure you have all the pieces. First step, grab these two side rails and grab eight of the thicker dowels. Make sure these pieces are oriented as seen here, then take your dowels and place the first one on the outside rail. Then in the center on the wider piece, and then again on the wider piece, and on the end on the far outside hole. It should then look like this, and now it's time for the other side. Next, pick up your side rails and have them stand up in this orientation where the groove side is on the bottom. Next, you'll grab one of the arch pieces that will connect the side rails together. It may help to have two people for this step. Since I was assembling this by myself, I felt like I wanted to support the side rails, so I placed some random objects underneath it once I got these attached. Having the side rails supported made the next step easier in my opinion. That involves these screws and whatever these are called, I don't know. Oh, and you'll need the supplied Allen key. All right, to attach the arch piece, you're gonna need that little piece that we don't know what it's called. You're gonna place it underneath and it's gonna be held by a flathead screwdriver. And then the other end, you're gonna put the screw in with the Allen key. You're gonna screw in these two top locations and you want this piece to be in that orientation so you can hold it with a screwdriver. After the top screw holes are completed, you want to do the same method on the bottom with the two bottom screw holes. After that step is completed, it should look like this. Top hole one, top hole two, bottom hole three, bottom hole four. Now take the mattress base and have it in this orientation. You want to grab these four L-shaped screws, these four flat screws, and place one in each corner on the mattress base. The L-shaped screw should be facing outward in this orientation on all four sides. Then take your Allen key from the previous step and rotate until it is tight. Complete all four sides and then this step is done. Step four, you need to flip the crib on its side, and in this step, it's dependent on which age you are using the crib for. For this use sake, these two holes will be used. In this direction, the mattress base will be placed in the two holes just pointed out. One thing to note is these L-shaped screws seem to be on an angle. I wasn't sure if this was correct, so it's probably best to check with Ikea. This is what the crib looks like so far. Now we need to grab the plain white hardboard that will slide into the two cutout grooves of the side rails. Make sure the hardboard is placed in the grooves nicely. Step six will be helpful if you have an extra set of hands. After placing the arch on top, you need to align the mattress base screws and all four wooden dowels into the associated holes. Step seven, we get to revisit our unknown screw species and the long screws. You'll screw in just like we did in step two, holding the unknown thing with your screwdriver and using the Allen wrench with the other screw. Step eight, the easiest step of them all, place these plastic feet in each of the four locations and tap, tappy tap with a rubber mallet lightly. Step nine was tough, I thought. I wasn't sure how to place these fasteners to hold the hardboard in place and there's no clear placement given. Just make it even like the picture, I suppose. Pushing the screwdriver with some more force seemed to work the best to limit fastener movement. 
Now step 10, place four of these plastic caps into the holes and screw them in with the small flat screws. To complete step 10, you need to flip the crib onto its feet and complete the last two plastic caps with the small screws. That completes the crib assembly portion. Day two involved assembling the bottom drawer. Step one, take these two boards and we're gonna use these screws, or whatever they're called, and we're gonna put them in these locations. After these screws are placed in their proper locations, tighten them until the threads are submerged into the board. Now grab the two pieces of unpainted wood and four skinny dowels. Four dowels, but for some reason I got five. Have the boards laid out like this and place a dowel in the middle of the board's edge. This step at the end should look like this. I want to make sure these holes are facing the outside and these holes on this side are facing, I guess, out. That makes sense. Insert the side boards aligning the dowels and the screws. The end should look like this. Next step involves taking these cam locks and placing them in the specify hole cutouts. Make sure the orientation of the screw is down first because what you're going to do to tighten them is take your screwdriver and turn it until the arrow is vertical. Though I will point out for the cam locks, they were a struggle, on the sideboards at least. I had trouble getting the arrow perfectly vertical, whereas the other areas where we use these cam locks, they tightened with a lot more ease. Now step 15, you're going to take your last large board and you're going to align it on top of the screws. We're going to be using more of those cam locks to solidify the connection points. You're going to put a cam lock in each of the four holes along the bottom and then tighten it with a screwdriver. You're then going to take that unused long board that we had sitting around with the screws in it and it's going to be placed on top of the drawer. Make sure the dowels and the screws align properly into the associated hole and snap it in place. We're going to be using those cam locks again and notice the orientation is different this time. The arrow is up and then after you screw it the arrow should be facing down for these four cam lock positions. All right, almost there. Take these 10 screws and use your Allen key and assemble them in the three holes on each side and then the four holes that are along the top. All right, now that that's done, we need to flip over the drawer so we can assemble the five wheels that make the drawer slide out. There will be a total of 10 small screws to apply the five wheels. To get the drawer underneath the crib, you'll have to tilt it at a slight angle, but keep it open because we need to apply the three handles. You'll use those final three screws, just hold the handle in place and screw together with a Phillips head screwdriver. Give the drawer the old slide and you're good to go. The crib, Ikea Gonat, is complete. Enjoy.